Well, great to talk more and learn more about Pegasus cheerleading as that's coming up more and more in the Queen region. But joining us now is more about the sport of disc golf. Joining us is Aaron Dodson, the spokesperson communications leader with the Quinty Disc Golf Association. So, Aaron, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. It's good to be here. What is disc golf? Could you describe kind of start for finish what, what it's like? So it's a bit of a new sport for our area. I uh, started playing maybe seven years ago with a friend, and it's a lot like ball golf. You're going to have your bag full of three to ten, maybe even more when you get really into it for a Frisbees. And then uh, you're going to have stuff like your putter. That's uh, your putting Frisbee. Uh, Mid-range, which is kind of like your chip or layup ones. And then your fairway drivers, which are all shaped differently. And mainly the whole thing is to get from the tee pad into the basket with as little of shots, just like ball golf, and a little more relaxed. So is there formal courses or kind of the... I work in hockey, so pardon me here, Aaron, but like the goals, are they kind of up on metal posts or how does it work? Describe us kind of like the course. So the courses, now we have one in Belleville. Uh, a lot of people see these baskets. It's like a, a basket about chest height with chains hanging down. A lot of people think there's some sort of weird barbecue or a, a bad garbage can or something. But there's been a lot of people asking, what is the course? What are these baskets coming up? But around the area, we've got uh, five courses in the past year for either private or uh, ones at a winery that are either nine typically or 18 holes of you start at hole one, your tee pad, throw to this metal basket you've probably be seeing in the park now and go usually in a loop in a circle and end up generally back at the start. So the Quinney Disc Golf Association, when did this get started and what do you hope to continue moving on further? So Quinney Disc Golf, we started forming the actual committee pretty recently. A friend of mine started working with the city and secured all the necessary funding and all the permits and everything. So this year around December was when Quinney Disc Golf started, uh, Quinney Disc Golf Association started actually getting its legs and getting the city and the local course at Riverside Park ready. But I'd say for about three years, it's been the seed was planted. There's a course in Stone Mills and a good group of people just started becoming friends and realizing they wanted to get more stuff in the area. Now, outside the Quinny region, is there a former association or a circuit? Where can other people find disc golf clusters? Yeah, so we're the Quinny Disc Golf Association, the QDG. Um, but we're under the ODSA, which is the Ontario Disc Sport Association. So that's kind of the governing body for insurance and uh, small-time league play, because it's all about like the community having their fun and doing it a little bit their way because every community is different. Uh, right now we've got the Quinny one. Uh, there's a great Peterborough scene where the Peterborough Disc Golf Association, I believe it is, is doing great work with junior events. Uh, they're hosting very big tournaments where people actually will travel from the States and more to come to. Uh, Brockville, and we're hoping that the county will soon have one. Now, when we hear about different sports coming up, I mean, pickleball comes to mind. There's more of a push to have courts in Prince Edward County. Tennis is coming back here locally a bit more. So how hardcore are the disc golfers? Is there like national, international championships you're aware of? Like how far could this take you if let's say you join the Quinney Disc Golf Association? Yeah, so it starts as like a bit of a pastime that you're doing on the weekend with friends. That's how it started for me. And then it kind of goes into something called the, the PDGA is the worldwide governing body of disc golf that stands for the professional disc golf association. So that one has more tours around the States, around Canada, 
and you can go up kind of like to an A level list. And within the past few years, COVID especially, because people were looking for a sport that they could do in a park by themselves for cheap. And that it started as kind of, oh, I can do this in the park for cheap. And then when you see how far you can go, you start seeing players like uh, Canadian Thomas Gilbert has been traveling the world. Uh, he was recently in the area and we just ran into him. So uh, things like that. Other people have been getting $10 million contracts. Um, it's a bit of a new sport, a new money in the sport, but there's a lot of travel places to go and great courses to see. As we wrap up here, Aaron, where can people learn more about the association and get involved? I mean, do you need a membership or do you need to bring your own Frisbees? What does it entail? Yeah, so this is at Riverside Park in Belleville. Um, you need to have your own Frisbees typically, but we will be having new player nights, which are going to be completely free. Uh, you can just show up and we're going to have people teach you how to play and you'll be able to throw a Frisbee, try it out, see if it's something you want to do. And then uh, we do have a $10 joining fee to join the Quinney Disc Golf Association, but that covers insurance, making sure any sort of maintenance on the course that needs to be done. And it's all volunteer based. So nobody uh, in the area is actually making money. We're all just pushing that back into the course. How many members do you have right now? Uh, right now we have about 30 members. Uh, they signed up through a link that you can get on the Facebook page, Quinny Disc Golf Association or Quinny Disc Golf Community. Um, and we should be having our first events in the coming weeks. Well, thanks, Aaron. Really appreciate it. It's so nice to learn more about cricket. We've got disc golf more in the uh, Quinny area. So thanks so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. It's good to see things grow.